recording. Hello, YouTube. It's Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. What are you doing tonight? Uh, nothing except have a few ideas I will present to you now in no particular order. This is not an idea. This is something that I actually did. And I, it's what I wrote in my Wreck This Journal. Let me get it. Okay. Oh, no. I lost my place. Huh. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. The instructions say create a line. Now, this might be backwards. Create a line nonstop. So I just went, oh, okay, and drew this little thing. Many, many, many weeks passed, and I came upon this page, and I said, you know, that's stupid. It looks like a worm. I don't think that's what it meant. And I thought about it, and I started getting a little irritated. And this is what I wrote. A line is an arbitrary concept imagined or conjured up by some nut alive at the beginning of our species. But since you asked, and then I drew a square, a triangle. You know what? I really suck at this. Uh, come on. A square, a triangle, a circle, a triangle, and infinity. And you remember the... Oh, gosh. You remember this... This math symbol? Well, you know... Uh, okay, who's the cameraman in here? I'm getting pissed off. Anyway, and then I wrote... Lines exist only in the minds of humans. You get it? This is a useless exer exercise. Job well done. And then on the other page it says, tells you where to start drawing the line. And I said, I started on the next page. That is the only space I felt compelled to do this order. And it's on page zero, which is in the middle of the book. And then, there's another one, this, here we go. Close your eyes, connect the dots from memory. You see that? And I said, using lines, and on the page before that, some of these pages are not numbered. It says, color outside the lines. Lines, see that us there? And I wrote, there is only one line. And I have definitely lost my place on this one. Oh, space for negative comments. This is on the next page. And I wrote, see previous page, and drew an arrow with a line. Okay. On another page, the instructions say, draw lines with your pen or pencil. Lick your finger and smear the lines. See, there you go. And I wrote, shut your mouth. There is that lines word again. One more time and I will bash this book in. That's enough lines requests for one book. So, um, the next person to say lines to me is really, really, really going to get it. And, uh, so you all think I'm a really nice person. And I tell you what, um, oh, no, you know, that's great. That's pretty. That's nice. Oh, I'm sorry or whatever. And I decided, you know what? I'm so tired of doing that. It does. It's getting to the point where it's meaningless. Because I mean, after seven years or however long I've been doing this, um, it's it's old. 
very old. So I made a list and it's got words like incredible, precious, adorable, unbelievable. Now I'm leaving out awesome, you know, fantastic, defies description, glorious, intricate, the wonder of, intelligent, exquisite, unexpectedly wonderful and beauty. And I keep this list right here next to my computer. And I only have one where I'm just going to praise whatever you're showing me. And this even seems phony to do that, you know? Because I do like things there, people people are posting and um, just about everything I like. So what do you do? You, you post a list and just go down it and check one up and go, this is perfect for this picture. So I don't know. You want to say something, you know, you don't want to just click the like button. I never want to click the unlike button unless it's something really, really, really bad that happened to the person. And then, then I feel like I do want to say a few words. Have you ever told anybody off in the comment section? Like just really told them straighten up and fly right or some such thing, you know, you're being a turd. Oops. <laughs> Have you ever done that? I think I did it once or twice. Probably to somebody in my family. Oh yeah. And I do it to haters, but what I do to haters, I don't hate them and block them. I, um, I respond and try to say, take the wind out of their sails. And after a few comments back and forth, they just come right down to being a normal, regular, nice person. It's amazing. You know, I, that's why I say I like haters. Because, well, let's see. I've changed quite a few of them into not hating me anyway and making them think before they just blurt out some asshole thing. And some kid just wrote me and said, I just want to thank you for being so cool and staying cool when you wrote your comment. You know, I I uh, never heard of this guy. I never watched, oh, I never watched Star Wars, but I know who Darth Vader is. So then the whole thing made sense to him. And I know it doesn't make sense here because anyway, it was, a, we were, the thing was about stuttering. And I said that James Earl Jones was a stutterer. And he was. He outgrew it, but he was. And um, so this kid said, who the fuck is that? You know, kind of rude. So anyway, he thanked me for keeping my cool. And he was, he, what he said was said inappropriately. And, you know. That's pretty much the conversation. I said, well, I'd rather explain it than pick a fight. <laughs> so anyway, I'm almost out of time and I'm cooking dinner and it's leftover New Year's dinner food. So have a good Friday. I hope you all are staying well. If you don't have internet, don't worry if you don't see this video because Y'all have got it bad. I am so, really, I am so sorry because I've lived through this kind of weather and it totally bites. So, bye everybody. Take care. Beedy beep, beedy beep. Forgot to put my teeth in. Got them in now. Bye.